a cistern design using 10 55 gallon barrels and a bunch of white PVC. The barrels sit on top of six layers of cinder blocks are connected together underneath with a bunch of PVC. Let me hide these and you can see what's going on. Okay, so we've got three wire uh, tubes underneath feeding the water to the barrels from below. Water comes in at the top here, comes down uh, to the very bottom to a clean out, or spills over into one of three pipes to the three different banks. So this is one bank, this is the second bank, this is the third bank. Obviously four barrels, three barrels, three barrels. And then there's an overflow that exits to the garden. If there's too much water to fill the barrels too quickly, then I needed an overflow. And when the barrels are full, I needed an overflow. It's important to note that the overflow is slightly below the level of the barrels, the top of the barrels. There's also an air vent inside the barrels that's a pipe that runs vertically to the top of the barrels. So as water is added to the barrels on one um, of these bungs, there are two bungs on each barrel. As water is added from the bottom of one bung, it fills up, it does not come out the other because there's a tube inside. Once the uh, water were to reach the top, if it did, it would overflow and come out the air vent. Each of these air vents is capped with mosquito net to prevent mosquitoes from getting in. Mosquitoes could fly in from the other end through the vent. Um, not sure there's much I can do about that. All right, so that's the design. And how it's enacted, I shall now show you. Um, you're gonna see some supports that I had to put underneath each barrel to distribute the weight of the barrel a little better rather than leaving all the weight on the barrel. Um, you'll see in a sec. Okay, here we've got some rain barrels to form a sort of cistern. As you can see, there are seven in place already. We've got three more over there that I gotta go in this three, three spots. Uh, they're 55 gallon drums. Some sort of Maltol thing. Um, I created these plates. Uh, one plate holds the, up each one of these barrels. I made a base for it out of cinder blocks that I got for free. And over here is the stuff that's working. Up here is where the water comes in to a downspout, down to a clean out at the bottom. So water accumulates in the downspout. And then this is an overflow. Which is gonna come out the other side. Here's the overflow. It goes out to a Ganera. Okay, so once the water has filled up the base pipe to here, it starts flowing over into these this area. There's a clean out of the bottom. There's three different offshoots for three different banks of water. There's one bank across the back, one bank across the middle, and this last bank across the front. Each bank has a shutoff valve, so I can shut off each bank, fill one up, um, so I get good pressure in it, 
and use the other. Right now I'm still building it so this bank here, which is the one against the wall, is full. This bank, second bank I just finished, and is not full so I'm filling it up. So what I did was I, I left this valve open and I opened this valve up to fill from the first bank to the second bank. So here's the first bank tubing that goes underneath the barrels. Second bank tubing goes underneath the barrels. The third bank tubing is going to connect here and go underneath the barrel. Here's what the barrels look like on the bottom. So it's a top view, but this is uh, on the bottom. Normally they're upside down. So right now I've, I've got them upside down to do some install. Over here we've got the cap with a three quarter inch PVC fitting in it. Um, I've actually got a screw fitting on either side and some um, RTV in between sandwiching it to seal it. This way there's no, the integrity of the barrel is complete and if I ever have a problem with a leak I know it's associated, from the barrel, I know it's associated with the bung and I can get the bungs separately from the barrels. The bungs are going to be a lot cheaper. Uh, the bungs, oh I made a tool for that, I'll show you that later. Okay on the other side uh, we've got the same sort of threaded sandwich effect with uh, male and female three quarters on either side of the bung and then we got a riser to this fitting and the fitting matches up with this piece obviously upside down so I can thread them in so I can remove each barrel individually the advantage of having this threaded fitting on here is that I can take each barrel out individually. Uh, the other advantage with the banks is being able to shut down a bank and do maintenance on it while retaining the other two banks. This is the air vent. You'll notice that I've got a uh, an aluminum mosquito screen on it. I cut it and put a zip tie around it to keep the mosquitoes out. I should probably do that on the top of the intake as well. Um, okay, so here's a barrel installation. Fully installed. You can see how it's going through the fence and then running over to this fitting. There's a down slope to this pipe so that when I drain it, I get it draining the right direction. I don't leave any water in it. We've also got shutoffs for each of the banks on the other end. So the, each bank is individually capped off. From here, the pipes are going to pipes are going to come down, run across here, and run down. I'll show you that in a bit. But I want to do this before uh, I put it all back together. Just for the record, that sits like that. Uh, there's. I think I made these two and a half inches. They're larger than the fitting to get the barrel out, obviously. Um, there's 21 and 5 eighths inches between, or the length of the three quarter pipe between the barrels is 21 and 5 eighths. So, what I have to do next, you can see the one is already in there. Next, I'm going to put this um, support plate in. This is exterior 5 eighths plywood. Then I mount up my three-quarter. Like right here. And carry on from there. Because this is upside down, the air vent has to have a tube in it. So it's probably pretty hard to see, but there's a vent tube that runs from the vent all the way to the top. It's probably a half inch below the top of the barrel.